absolutely should listen to. And this past week, we actually got a nugget of gold in the form of some advice from none other than Marjorie Taylor Greene herself. You see, Marjorie Taylor Greene is very, very mad that the government is not going to be shutting down at the end of this month. You know, she, she really wanted that because I, I still think she thinks that she doesn't have to go to work if the government shuts down. But of course a government shutdown a month before the election would be a disaster for Republicans. And of course it would be a disaster no matter when it happens for the entire United States economy. It's a stupid idea, but Marjorie Taylor Greene is mad that it didn't happen. And she's mad that Republican house speaker, Mike Johnson worked out a deal with Democrats to continue funding the government without having to pass that stupid piece of legislation that Donald Trump insisted upon. So Marjorie Taylor Greene went on Steve Bannon's war room podcast this past Thursday. And of course, Bannon wasn't hosting because you know, he's in jail and Marjorie Taylor Greene had this to say about Republicans. I think a lot of people are waking up to the news this morning and realizing that, you know, something Marjorie Taylor Greene was right. And I was right. I just was early on my motion to vacate on Mike Johnson, but everybody, everyone knows it. Now Mike Johnson is not our speaker. He is the speaker for the Democrats. And he has delivered that through his actions of fully funding the Biden Harris administration, fully funding the weaponized DOJ, fully funding the FBI that had agents and was involved in January 6th and raided Mar-a-Lago and has raided a lot of January 6th defendant homes. Y you know what, before I even get to the meat of this, um, yeah, because that's part of an investigation. The FBI, by the way, was not present at January 6th. That is a lie that Marjorie Taylor Greene continues to tell. Donald Trump got raided, as you say, by the FBI, because he continued to refuse to comply. Like that's what happened. They wouldn't have even shown up there if he had just given the documents back the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth time that they asked for them. They gave him every chance in the world, which they shouldn't have. And he still didn't do it. As for the January 6 people, again, they were raided because they were targets in a federal investigation. Like that's, that's normal. But here is where she gets to the point where she offers, I guess we'll call it her advice. I share the anger and frustration, and I don't think Republicans deserve to be reelected to hold the majority. And it's a double-edged sword. And here it is. We have to elect president Trump in order to control the federal government in order to take back all these huge agencies and departments and set the course, right? Look, vote for president Trump, like your life depends on it. And then hold your nose and vote for that rhino that you absolutely hate because we need a good tax code in place. Damn. You almost had a good message there. Republicans don't deserve to be reelected. Like if you had just stopped right there, I'd agree with you hundred percent. But then you said, well, we got to elect Trump and we got to have even the rhinos you say. So you say you don't deserve it, but people should do it anyway. Now that's a very confusing statement to make Marge, because if you say somebody doesn't deserve something, but then you tell people to give it to that person anyway, wouldn't that make you a hypocrite? I mean, so much makes you a hypocrite, but you know, I'm just pointing that out because even you're admitting that you and your party don't deserve to be reelected because you're a Republican and you said Republicans don't deserve to be reelected to the majority. So let's go a little deeper here. Marjorie Taylor Greene knows that she could go out there right now and tell everybody in this country, don't vote for Republicans. Some would listen, some would not. But the reason she would be able to do that is because she is in a deep red district. Those are people that are not going to not vote for her. So even if Marjorie Taylor Greene got everybody else in the country to vote against Republicans, her district would still vote for her. She'd still have a job. There is no risk for her in making these idiotic comments because she knows she's coming back in January. Same thing with a lot of these other Republicans that are in safe district, Matt Gates, he'll be back no matter what that house ethics committee report says. Jim Jordan has been an abject failure since his first day in Congress. He'll be back. Lauren Boebert will likely unfortunately be back because she is in a safe red district. 
And that, as I've repeatedly said for years now, is why some of these Republicans go absolutely bat crap crazy because they know they face no threats. They face no democratic challengers and the people in their districts happen to like crazy for some reason. Maybe there's something in the water. I don't know, but they'll keep voting for crazy. It's the other people, right? The normal ones, the ones in swing districts, the ones who might actually feel like, you know what? People voted for me to do a job and I actually need to do a job. I need to keep the government running. But Marjorie Taylor Greene says, okay, fine. Go ahead. Then vote for Republicans because we need good tax policy. We all know what that means, right? We know what Republican tax policy is. Republican tax policy is cut taxes for the wealthy elite and for corporations. And that's it. That's the tax policy. So Marjorie Taylor Greene went in one sentence from saying that Republicans should not be reelected to, well, we kind of do have to do it so that we can do trickle down economics, which for the record, even a majority of Republican voters now admit does not work. So not only is she telling people don't vote for Republicans, she's also telling them you have to vote for these Republicans so that they can put the policy in place that you all already hate. Wow. The only person in this country whose brain in which that would make sense is Marjorie Taylor Greene, because that's like five different contradictory things that she twists together to kind of make a thing that makes absolutely no sense. But this is today's Republican party. Again, I am with you fully Marge that Republicans don't deserve to be reelected. I just don't agree with you on the reasoning why because you think Republicans don't deserve to be reelected because we didn't have a government shutdown. I, on the other hand, think that Republicans shouldn't be reelected because their tax policies only benefit the wealthy elite and make the rest of us struggle. Donald Trump's tariff policies, according to literally hundreds of economists would devastate the economy here in the United States. You guys don't care about the environment and the Congress that you are currently a part of has passed fewer bills than any Congress in the history of Congress. You have launched repeated investigations into president Biden, into his brother, into his son, into the so-called weaponization of the federal government, into the so-called censorship of conservatives on social media platforms. And not a single one of those investigations has yielded any bit of evidence to prove any of your points. So I agree again that Republicans shouldn't be reelected. I just have a whole completely different set of reasons as to why. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.